This is news that the Pakistani government officials did not want to hear. Obviously, Pakistan has been plagued by militancy for years. There's been so many terror plots and terror attacks linked back to Pakistan. And now this one is, too, with the man arrested, Faisal Shahzad, a Pakistani-American. Reaction coming in, reaction from the office of President uh, Afas Ali Zardari, the advisor to the president, telling CNN, we condemn all forms of terrorism. If the man arrested is proven to have some involvement in the New York Times Square failed bombing, we are sure that he will get the justice he deserves. Also reaction from the spokesperson of President Asif Ali Zardari, <clears throat> spokesperson uh, telling CNN uh, that it is unfortunate this man is from Pakistan, but it is also clear he is a U.S. national. It's much too early in the investigation to reach a conclusion, but it's Pakistan's position that we are prepared to help the international community in the fight against militancy and extremism. When U.S. officials contact Pakistani government officials, and I think it's just a matter of time, they're going to do it through the Foreign Office, the spokesperson for the Pakistani president telling CNN the Foreign Office here in Islamabad is monitoring the situation, but they have yet to be contacted by U.S. investigators. So, Don, in a nutshell, the reaction here in Pakistan is that they're condemning this attempted bombing, but they're offering their support.